Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Madison and today I want to take you on a little bit of a big box store plant adventure, if you will. Um, I have in mind, I think, a Lowe's and two Home Depot and maybe a Walmart, but I don't always have luck at our local Walmarts here for plants. So let's see what we can find. Let's cross our fingers that the audio uh, comes out okay and that I'm not too terribly awkward filming out in the wild. So wish me luck and let's see if we can find any goodies out there. All right, here we are outside of our first location. This is a Lowe's and it was super loud in the store with really loud music. So we're just gonna do a voiceover walking through here. So here we go. We walked straight to the plants, which is perfect. And first things first, we've got a big old rack of plants with some guys hanging up top. And it looks like they are most, mostly like succulenty kind of plants that are in the hanging pots up here. And they were all right around $13. And I couldn't get the camera to focus, but that plant was so cute. <laughs> so as we come down, it's, I think, mostly the Urban Jungle brand of plants. Um, they had a really nice ficus audrey here. It's so pretty. Very dusty, but it looked really happy. The same cannot be said for this alocasia poly back here. But there's, there's some happier ones in there. And it was really full, too. Like, I feel like there's quite a few corms in there some cute little pots little sloth pots and then these are peperomia hope and it looks like they were in little hanging um hanging pots they're really pretty i used to grow a peperomia hope but um it's hard to grow that thing looking nice um it got really stringy got all kinds of cool things down here i'm not sure what that plant was but that flower was super cool and coming around to the front side of this shelf, they have some really cute air plants in these little jars or something. I guess it's not really a jar, more like a little vase. And some really pretty hanging plants here. Again, these are all $13. They're so pretty. It looks like jade or something like that. And I'm like all over the place looking through here. <laughs> I was getting so distracted so easily. But look at this beautiful syngonium. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I have some regret about not getting that plant. It's so pretty. Oh, one day, there'll, there'll be more of them. And they've got some beautiful golden pothos and some blue star fern. And it looks like a little Madagascar, um, or no, that's not what it's called. Never mind. <laughs> and over here, we've got just a sea of plants. They are fully stocked. I definitely came on a good day. But they've got some giant alocasia regal shields. That's so cool. That's like almost the size of mine. That's so awesome. I've never seen them sold so big. Um, and they've got some really nice looking black velvet alocasia over here. Again, these are from the Urban Jungle line. I want to say those were all around $15. Some pretty peperomia ginny and some orchids. I love me an orchid. They're kind of boring when they're not in bloom, but they definitely rebloom and they're beautiful. And some more f really full, um, beautiful syngonium. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. And that one is $17. That's a really good size um, pot for a syngonium, I feel like, for that price. Beautiful. They had some ZZ plants and some praying mantis babies. That's so cool. I wonder if that's why I've been seeing a ton of little praying mantis all over town lately. Maybe that's the culprit. <laughs> and here we've got some really pretty hanging golden pothos and like macrame hangers. And they've got tons of the four inch pots. They've got the zebra plants. Those are very, uh, very much so water loving plants. And again, some more really pretty and unique looking syngonium. Gorgeous. And check out that beautiful bright green philodendron. And some more syngonium little pixie. It's so cute. But yeah, check that guy out. I love that bright chartreuse color. And some peperomia some Dracaena, more of those. I think that's a green goddess or something like that, philodendron. Beautiful ferns. Every time I see ferns, I get a little bit homesick. 
what's the price on those? Seven dollars, I think, for those. Six ninety eight. Okay, and even more Alocasia Poly. That is so cool to see that they've been carrying so many of these. Although you definitely want to be on the lookout for spider mites with those, but honestly, they looked pretty darn good for most of them. I saw a few, but they weren't like fully infested, so I wouldn't be too scared to buy them personally. And they've got some little baby Monstera Deliciosa. Those are so cute for $13. They are just starting to get little fenestrations on there, but gosh, what a perfect little plant. And that little plant will be huge before you know it. Um, I want to say that my Monstera that is absolutely giant now was about this size when I purchased it. So, and that was only maybe three years ago, something like that. Oh, look at that leaf. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And still, yeah, just $13. And check those roots. Man, if you've been wanting a Monstera Deliciosa, <laughs> they said that's so weird, Deliciosa, check out your big box stores. Oh, look at that. <gasps> wow. Okay. We got to go around and check this out. I don't think I've ever seen a um, ficus this big. It's $120. It looks like a little barren at the bottom of the stem, but a giant ficus tanike. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting just as excited now as I was when I first saw it in person. It's so cool. I can't believe that's so big. And then they have some beautiful, really lush hanging baskets of Monstera adansonii. But I do feel like, I was trying to get a read of the tag there. It looks like those are about 20 bucks. Um, but I feel like that's some sort of different um, variety of Monstera adansonii. They're just super chunky leaves. Really, really pretty. And some nice Diefenbachia. Looks like those are about eight fifty or nine dollars. Look at that leaf! Oh my gosh! Do you see what I mean? I feel like it's some sort of different variety. I don't know. Oh man, that is so pretty. It's almost kind of giving me like Escaletto vibes. I know it is definitely not, but you know, a girl can dream. <laughs> And down here, we've got some more kind of low light loving plants. At least that's how they like to market them. They do love light. Don't, don't let them trick you. <laughs> and of course, we have to check out the markdown section. We've got some Calathea rosy or something like that or medallion. And it's looking a little sad, but honestly, not terrible. Did, didn't look infested by any means. Oh my gosh, look at that begonia leaf. Oh. That is so pretty. Wow. <laughs> I didn't really look at any of the prices on these markdown plants, so I apologize about that. But I would assume they're all under like $15 or something like that. Probably like 5 to 15 I loved seeing those super like sturdy saucers too. And then check out these pots. Those are kind of cool. So it's like a clear... Um, orchid pot almost. Okay, yeah, after much struggle, that is a cool pot. Like, what the heck? Did I buy any after all that struggle? No, but good to know that they're there. $3.28, that's a pretty good deal, I feel like, for a cool pot like that. I don't know. I only ever buy super cheap pots, but look at how freaking cute that is. Oh, and apparently it's frost resistant, so you could leave that sucker outside all winter. I don't know why you would. I don't know what plant would survive, but you never know, you know. But they have some beautiful pots. Look at that. I love all the really neutral ones with like the different textures and stuff. That's beautiful. 30 bucks for that big bad boy. That looks like a 14 inch or something too, maybe 12 inch. But yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. I always like to peep out their uh, plant stands as well because I feel like that's something I'm always low on. But they've got some really nice looking ones. Just some simple, but you know, still nice looking. Okay, let's see. What else is there to see over here? More giant um, Alocasia poly or Amazonica. They are beautiful. And they had some big old fiddly figs and stuff and big 
um, what is that? That's beautiful. I think that's a variegated um, ficus altissima. I'm not exactly sure the exact name of that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure the exact name of that. You know what I'm saying. But look at that guy. He's a little sad, but he is beautiful. Wow. New um, growth points happening there after the death. So that's good. And I want to say that guy was $35. So, I mean, for a ficus that big, that's a pretty darn good price. So they have some really cute ponytail palms over here. It looks like this is more markdown plants. Hello, definitely markdown plants. But I mean, I have bought so many markdown plants in like my time collecting plants and you can almost always bring them back to life. Like look at that beautiful uh, Tradescantia nook. So pretty. That would be huge in no time. I don't know about those ponytail palms. I don't have luck with those, but if that's your thing, I'm sure you could bring it back to life. Okay, same with the majestic palm. That also just doesn't do great here in Colorado, but you never know. <laughs> okay, I think that is pretty much everything as far as houseplants goes. So let's head out to our next stop. Ooh, actually, before we leave, let's take a look at some of their outdoor plants. Look at these beautiful little begonia. I think those are all $3 per, per pot, so you can make a beautiful large arrangement. Ooh, and I spy some coleus. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Those are just beautiful. I'm pretty sure that coleus and begonia are like cousins or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that up, but they're cousins in my head. <laughs> but they're beautiful. And the hostas or hostas, how do you say that? Hosta or hosta? I kind of mix it up, I think, but they are absolutely beautiful. When I have like a front yard that I can actually do whatever I want to and we're not renting, I will 100% have some hostas. Hostas, I mixed it up there. It was hostas. <laughs> but they're so pretty. I love the like bluish tint to them, to some of them, I guess. And some more beautiful coleus. I apologize. I did not get the prices on those, but all their outdoor stuff is, is really reasonable. Look at these. These are like kind of smaller, more compact coleus. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is so pretty. Wow. 228 for that little guy. That is so sweet. And some pretty ferns. And looks like, are these begonia? No. I don't know what those are. I don't think it's begonia, but they're really pretty. Oh, and look at these. These are like little mini hostas or hostas. I'm just going to keep mixing it up on you. Those are so cute. Those are $8. And they are just adorable. Oh, my goodness. And look at that. I don't know what that is. I think that might be another variety of hosta, but it's gorgeous. Look at that green on green variegation. Oh, I'm a sucker for some green on green variegation. That is just beautiful. And some lovely lilies. They smelled so nice. <laughs> Watch out though, because they will stain your clothes. And those are $17 for those big old plants. That's awesome. Okay. And then I spotted these hostas from afar and I just had to check them out. Look at how pretty more green on green variegation with like almost some yellow in there. And then some of the leaves were so round and some were so elongated. Oh my goodness. I just love all the different variations in them. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> And the grasses, I love these. I feel like my mom would love those. My mom loves her some pretty grass. Oh, and look at these. <gasps> oh, can you believe it? $12. $12. That is a plantation lily, I think it said. Absolutely beautiful. <gasps> wow. Looks like some of those flowers were spent, but so pretty. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can find any more flowers over here. Nope, but some pretty begonia. Look at that. What a fun shape. Is that a begonia? I don't even know. We're going to call it one. 
And another type of hosta or hosta. Beautiful. Again, that has kind of a bluish tint to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And some purple flowers. Beautiful. Those are a little bit taller too. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a ruffly edged hosta. I repeat, a ruffly edged hosta or hosta. Oh my goodness. With the yellow variegation around the margin. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, and the flowers are so pretty. It's almost like a bird of paradise flower. That's really cool. Whoa, look at what I spotted here. A bunch of beautiful colocasia. Oh, I feel like I'm getting that name wrong. Caladium, they're caladium. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Wow, okay. Look at the little babies. They look like spiders, pink spiders. <laughs> so pretty. Some of them are a little bit, you know, worse for wear, but man, what a gorgeous plant. Okay. And here we've got this beautiful fuzzy plant. This is a, an angel wing senecio. That is absolutely beautiful. It's just buttery soft. It feels like a little lamb's ear or like that little soft part. If you have a dog, that little soft part, like right in between their pads. Oh, so sweet. And then look at this beautiful, I think this is a red banana or something. I'm probably way off, but look at that leaf coming out. It's beautiful. It's in this large arrangement with some syngonium. It's lovely. Okay, we have finally made it to our second destination. This is a Home Depot. And look at all of these beautiful hanging plants. They've got some gorgeous golden pothos. Tons of plants, big spider plants I'm seeing down there. And then look at this. Oh my, oh my. Beautiful full pots of um, string of pearls for $8. Those are lovely. I'm very intimidated by that plant. I'm not gonna lie, it scares me. <laughs> and they've got some Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen with the variegation along the outside of the leaf. So pretty. And looks like some Enjoy Pothos. So beautiful. I've been on the hunt for Mandula pothos for so long. So let's cross our fingers here. Maybe we can find them. And looks like we've got a bunch of snake plants and Alocasia poly and some more beautiful golden pothos. Like some of them are so vibrant and yellow. So cute. You always have to do the pest check on the Alocasia, really on anything you buy anywhere. Check for pests. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so pretty. And I totally skipped by it for some reason when I was in the store, but there are some beautiful, oh, here we go. Yeah, some beautiful Maranta. Look at that. Okay, I didn't skip it over. I'm not totally crazy because those are gorgeous. Oh, they look like little fruit roll-ups when they're coming out. Mm. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> That's so pretty. That almost looks like, a black Maranta or something. It's definitely not. It's not quite as dark and mysterious, but definitely beautiful. And then look at this guy. This is another Monstera Adansonii for, looks like $10, I think it said. And again, I think that is a different varietal than we usually see. Just beautiful. And they have some really nice, healthy looking fiddle leaf figs as well. Look at how shiny. Do they have someone that comes in and shines their leaves? Because like, whoa. And none of them were even atoliated or anything. They're just beautiful. Look at that big guy. And we've got some beautiful large Monstera and Burgundy rubber trees. Those are beautiful. That is just a classic plant. So pretty. Look at that Monstera. Oh my gosh. Once again, all the leaves are like very clean looking, very shiny. Oh, there's a pretty Silver Bay Aglionema back here. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. If I had the space, I would definitely have one of those. It looks like some Ficus Benjamina. Is that what that is? And then that is a Stromanthe Magic Star. Oh my gosh, that is one of my favorite, favorite uh, prayer plants. It's so pretty. It is different than the trio star. The variegation's a little bit different. And some pretty ferns. And then what do I see here? 
Wow. Okay, that is a dragon's tail pothos, otherwise known as a Raphidophora decursiva. That is so crazy to see in a big box store. Um, when I got my first little piece of one of those, it was from, I want to say, Gully Greenhouse. Um, my boyfriend got it for me for my birthday like a couple years ago or maybe a year ago now. And um, yeah, one or two years ago. I have no idea. But I want to say it was like $60 for like a few leaves. And now you can buy it at Home Depot at like a good size. It's so cool. Look at that beautiful asparagus fern. Oh, those are gorgeous. That's another plant that is so intimidating, but you just have to pet it every time you see it just to kind of like get your fix in, you know? <laughs> and these guys are so pretty. All of their hanging plants were super full and bushy, which we love to see. Oh, and we even have some Hoya Carnosa Compacta. That is beautiful. They've got a good amount too. Look at that. Oh my. That's just lovely. And it looks like there's some little um, Pilea Peperomioides next to it as well. And I want to say those um, Compacta were 7 or $8. So pretty darn good price there for their four inch pots. And then coming around the front of their like kind of plant section here, we have some peace lilies and a begonia. And they're all in like terracotta pots, at least for those begonia. And I want to say they're around $20. I didn't get a great look at that. Some really nice looking ponytail palms. And more begonia. That is a beningo pink, which I'm going to pop a picture up really quick so you can see um, what you can make your beningo pink look like with some good lighting. Beautiful. Okay, I think we've made a full circle here. Yep, we're back at our syngonium and hoya and stuff like that. Looks like I missed some little peperomia too, but yeah. Okay. Less options at this store, but let's check their clearance rack here. Look at that. Oh, there's a little bird of paradise. How cute. It's in an arrangement too, so you can kind of get a bunch of plants at once, which is kind of nice and like end up separating them or something at the end of the summer season. Got some beautiful flowers. Even the dying ones were so pretty. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for this Home Depot. Let's head on to the next stop. On my way out of the store, I was walking past this little display with a bunch of succulents and I just had to stop and show you because look at the color of that aloe plant. Are you kidding me? I know that they spray paint or do whatever. They paint some of the, you know, succulents that they have, but that is not paint. That is just the color of that plant. It's so beautiful. It's green and blue and pink and purple with like orange. Oh my gosh, just wild. Okay, that's officially it at this story. Let's head on to the next. <laughs> Here we are at our third destination of the day. This is our second Home Depot. So let's make our way inside. Okay, this was definitely like one of the busiest locations. So I feel like my camera work is a little bit shoddy because I'm trying to be like you know, not super weird, but they've got some beautiful plants. They had some full, super full um, aluminum plants and some more of the Hoya uh, Carnosa Crimson Queen. So pretty and some beautiful um, watermelon peperomia. The leaves were such a good size. Really pretty. It looks like some people have like, I don't know, maybe taken like snippets of the leaves because you can propagate those from the leaf. Oh, and then again, I have a love affair with this asparagus fern. It's so pretty. Ugh. One day. One day we'll try it. Maybe. And some beautiful Diefenbachia. Some Crotons. I'm not the biggest fan of Crotons, but I can see, I can appreciate their beauty, you know. And look at this beautiful burgundy rubber tree. Ugh. I love how deep and dark those leaves are. And I spotted a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake, Calathea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm done. <laughs> and look, we've got more of the Hoya Carnosa Compacta. And that one looked pretty darn long too. That is so cool. We've got some beautiful um, pothos. Look at 
We've got a bunch of really cute four inch plants here. They got polka dot plants and some bird's nest ferns and pilea. Ooh, and look at this beautiful black velvet alocasia. $13 here for this guy. They look pretty darn healthy too. Ooh, and look at this one. I feel like we've been seeing some really interesting looking Monstera adansonii today. Maybe I'm crazy, but they look different. And then looks like just a couple of the Calathea ornata with the pinstripes are so pretty. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, shiny decursiva. One of my favorite plants, I think. Definitely. <laughs> And we've got more, kind of more of the same of what we had at the other places. You know, you've got your um, umbrella trees. Ooh, but we didn't have variegated umbrella tree. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Once again, if I had the space, oof, you bet. <laughs> Whoa, look at these Pilea peperomioides. Those are beautiful. Super thick leaves on those. They look really, really healthy. And let's see how much are they. I think those were like eight or nine dollars. And they've got so many babies in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a plant that I've never had too much luck with. But man, do the big box stores make it look tempting. <laughs> we got a really pretty begonia hiding out here. All right, you guys, we are back. I hope you had fun coming with me, looking at a few different big box stores and checking out some plants. I did pick out a plant. Uh, I need to not be buying any plants, but it was only $8, which is still dollars that I shouldn't have spent. However, I couldn't resist. So I picked up this beauty. I hope that you can see it here, but I got this from, where did I get this? I'm going to have to look back in my footage and see where I got this, but I'm pretty sure I got this from a Home Depot. I think probably the first one that we stopped. Um, and it is so cute. It is a Hoya Hindu rope or a Hoya Carnosa compacta. And it's already kind of like starting to vine down a little bit here. So hopefully you can see how pretty that looks. I feel like this looks like just a bunch of little tortellinis. Maybe I'm just hungry, but I'm always hungry, so. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you can see how pretty this is. And it looks like it is already having some growth here. So there's a few little hands coming out or little arms coming out there. There's a little leaf here. And then on this arm, it looks like it may have had some leaves that got knocked off um, because it looks like there like used to be something here. And now there's a little tiny um, leaf growing right at the top there. So we're growing. Um, I don't think this is a terribly fast grower. This is a plant that I purchased like at the very beginning of my plant um, collection and um, like a few years ago, maybe two years ago. And it was just these like little teeny tiny plugs and I didn't know how to care for them properly and they never grew. And I think I just ended up selling them on. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to give this plant another try now that I'm more confident with Hoya and I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this little guy. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video, checking out some big box stores in Northern Colorado and seeing what our plant selections have to offer here. Um, I'm pretty pleased with our selection right now. It seems like we've got a pretty wide variety of options, which I'm just digging, and some really good sizes too, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, I will try and do some more of these videos um, in the upcoming months here. It's really, really fun for me to do, and honestly, I usually just like to drive around and like peek at the big box stores and see what plants they have to offer anyway, like regardless if I'm filming or not. So it'll just be a good reason for me to bring you guys with me. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.